sección. Yo no posteo nada en esta sección. Good evening, porque no... Daddy. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hello, how is it going? Welcome, Good Lana. evening. Eh, Good evening, Miss Patricia. Jonathan, hello, Lily, Aura. Um, hello to uh, Gustavo, Daniela. Okay. Uh, Jonathan, thank you for being here. So I'm very glad to have you here tonight, my dears. So we are going to continue with our uh, class. So I just want to connect you with the platform, okay? So uh, for today, we are going to continue with a 1.5 lesson objective that says, by the end of this class, you will learn how to sound natural when, ta when talking about future plans by reducing going to. So if you remember last night, we talk about the, the plans that we have for our birthday, okay? So we are going to share tonight a little bit on what we are going to do for our birthday. But before we do that, I just want you to, uh, I just want you to see what we have in the platform. Uh, in the platform, you have this video that talks about the reduction of going to, and for the reduction of going to, we use uh, one, right? So I'm going to explain this a little bit more. But I would like that you go to the platform and watch and listen that video, okay? Teacher, I have a question. Yes, tell me, please. In this part of the platform, mm -hmm. how, how is the correct form to complete it? Because I see that many people... Is writing, okay? Right, his yeah. name or her name and another people write the the subject or the, or the topic and i really want to know how is the correct form the idea um of this is to complete it or or if i do need to complete this part of okay. discussion okay let me explain thank you lorena for asking okay this part is not graded it means that if you don't solve it there's no problem with your with your grade with your marks okay but I highly recommend you to use it because remember that for learning a language, you have like four skills, listening, which is the video and myself, when I come here and talk to you and you listen to each other, speaking in this class, but also writing. So the idea of, of having this space is in order that you can write, okay? That you can write, that you can type in English and that's the, the space for. So uh, in the video, um, when, when you finish, it says, now go to the discussion for a forum and tell us, right? So you need to listen to the video and if in the discussion forums, uh, for example, in, this, in the video, it's talking about what are you going to do tonight? For example, this person said, are you going to make the homework with us tomorrow night? Yes, I'm going to make the homework, homework with you. So the person is like elaborating a sentence based on the topic. So you need to listen to the, to the video, watch the video, and depending on what the video says that you do in the discussion forum, you can do it, okay? So, but it's up to you. If you can go, you can do okay. it. But this is not graded. It means what is graded is the knowledge check. If you miss a knowledge check or if a knowledge check is not right, um, properly answered, this can, can have a difficulty because that is graded, but okay, okay. right now, okay? But okay, I, this I is just uh, an exercise. An exercise for typing, for practicing your writing, okay? Yes. Okay, I understand. Okay, perfect, thank you. Okay, in the 1.7 lesson objective, uh, it says that by the end of this class, you will be able to talk about holidays in the US. So if the time allows us, we are going to complete this. And then vocabulary about holidays. You have here this uh, video in the platform. So I recommend you to go and watch it. And um, uh, later we are going to talk about WH questions using the going to. Remember that this, all this um, section is to talk about going to, be going to, okay? So uh, tomorrow, I expect that for tomorrow we can conclude and we can start the section number two, right? So here's uh, questions with be going to, right? Uh, have a good Valentine's Day. 
So this is the topic about the video you can watch here. And then we go to the final knowledge check. And in the final, final knowledge check, um, remember that you can type here. And if you remember, this platform is very sensitive. So be careful if you use a dot or if you use capitals or if you leave spaces. So you need to be very careful in order to don't have any problem with that. Or with the apostrophe, right? Remember that you need to use the right symbol for the apostrophe because if you don't do that and if you do, for example, the tilde, right? This is going to be uh, bad or wrong because the platform won't recognize it. Um, then um, we are going to discuss how to celebrate special occasions. So that's why I asked you about your birthday, right? Uh, so we continue talking about special occasions, but in all this, we will be using going to and going to, and that's all the, the issue here. And uh, this is a reading and comprehension article. So you need to go read the article and then complete the exercise about what uh, every one of these uh, people is going to do, okay? So here you can expand the article and then you can uh, answer if it's true or false, right? Depending on the plans that each person has. Okay, and finally, we go to section two that I expect to start tomorrow. Remember that this week we are going to work on Friday because we missed or we start on, uh, not on Monday, but on Tuesday, right? But normally we will study uh, from Monday to Thursday. Friday is free, but tomorrow is not free, okay? Because we started on Tuesday. So we need to work Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, which is today, and Friday, okay? So next week, you are going to be free by, Saturday, by Friday. Okay, let me stop sharing this and let me go to the plot, to my presentation that I have for you tonight. And here, before we go to, um, to this part of uh, the WH words with going to, I would like that you can share with us what are you gonna do or what are you going to do for your birthday, okay? What do you have planned? Can plan out. Who would like to start? A quien le gustaría comenzar con el homework? With last night's homework. What are you going to do for your birthday? You remember, I'm going to stop sharing and I will try to share well. the next presentation that I have. If you, if you Allow me to go. Just wait for me for a minute because I, okay. Let me just go to the presentation, uh, last night presentation. So just to conduct it, this exercise and then we continue with the WH, okay. So, I gave you like one example, a short example of what I, I have planned. Okay, so let me share with you. Okay, that is, this is my plan, okay? But I would like to hear yours, okay? And I expect that you use going to or gonna, if you want to say gonna. Remember that gonna is for short and going to, but last night we said that gonna is an informal way of saying going to, and that you normally use gonna in the spoken English, but not in the written English, okay? You don't, you normally don't say, don't write gonna in any formal communication. Okay, so who wants to start? Maybe Adrian? Would you like to start, Adrian? Uh, okay. Some brief ideas. You don't have to be so ex ex you don't have to expand yourself to talk in about whatever you want to say. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, my birthday is on March 15th. Uh -huh. I'm going to celebrate with my niece 
and my daughter Shirley. And when I get home after work, they have the parade and they give me a surprise. We are going to eat cake and I'm going to receive a gift of something I need. But the best thing is that we share something together. I'll be waiting for the day. Okay. Thank you, Adrian. Thank you very much. It was a little bit uh, difficult to hear, but we, we already were able to understand you. Okay, thank you. Who wants to continue? Maybe Lorena? Lorena, would you like to share with us your plan for your birthday? Yes. Okay, my birthday is on February the 26th. Mm -hmm. Six. I'm going to celebrate with my family, my husband, my daughter, and my two sons. I'm going to eat Mexican food, chocolate cake, and soda. I'm going to receive a lot of gifts from my husband. I hope so. That's all. Excellent. Thank you, Lorena. Thank you very much. Okay, Elizabeth. Elizabeth Garcia, would you like to continue with the presentation? Okay. My birthday is on December 22nd. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna to celebrate with my son and I am going to eat um, pizza. Mm -hmm. And in the night, uh, I'm going to dance with my friends. Mm -hmm. mm. And this is all. Excellent, sounds nice. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you for you. sharing. Okay, Carla Veronica, would you like to share some ideas about your birthday celebration with us? Okay, my birthday is August 2nd. Okay. I am going to celebrate with my son and parents. I am going to Mexican food. Sweet, and Mexican food. Uh -huh. I'm going to have uh -huh, Mexican food. Uh, um, Kate and caramel. Caramel cake? And caramel cake. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> caramel. <laughs> um, and, and, um, ¿cómo se dice? Mm -hmm. How do you say? Y luego a la, I'm going to. And later uh, we are going the beach. to. And later we are going to the beach. And later going to the beach. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Gustavo. Gustavo, would you like to share with us your plans, your birthday plans? Hi, teacher. Hi, My birthday hello. is on October. 25th. Mm -hmm. I'm going to celebrate with my family. Okay. I'm going to eat um, fruit cake. Uh, my friends are going to sing happy birthday to me. My children are going to give me a gift. Uh, una consulta, te hicieron una cuestión. Sí. Eh, compañeros de trabajo, compañeros de trabajo, ¿cómo se dice? Uh, my, sería uh, work, uh, work team, mi equipo de trabajo. O oh, my colleagues, puede utilizar también el otro sinónimo, mis colegas. Uh, eh, my colleagues are going to sign up. Uh, uh, ok, excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ok, let's continue. Uh, I think that no, nobody is missing. If someone is missing, please. Let's see. Aura, Aura. Hello, Aura. Can you hear us? Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening, Aura. Would you like to share with us your birthday plans? Yes, yes. I, my birthday is on August 10th. Uh -huh. I'm uh -huh. going to celebrate with my family. i uh, are going to the beach and celebrate. Going, <laughs> going to go to the beach. Going to celebrate. go to, to the beach, celebrate, yes. Uh -huh. And it with, with my son, my husband. And um, 
enjoy this party. <laughs> okay, I hope so. So happy birthday to every one of you. Anticipate yeah. it, okay? Thank Let's you. Celebrate life. Okay, yeah. thank you very much for sharing my ideas. I'm going to stop sharing this and now I'm going to go with my second presentation for tonight, which has to do with the WH words, right? Remember, I have a question. Yes, please go ahead. And um, co workers, uh, we can use to yes. compañeros de trabajo. You can say co workers, you can say colleagues, you can say uh, my team. If you, if, for example, if you are a coordinator and you want to refer to, your, to the people that work with you, you say my team, right? Uh, okay, but, thank you. But co workers is in general, no matter if they are your team or not. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, okay, thank yes. you. Thank you, thank you too. Okay, so um, if you remember the WH words, uh, they are um, information questions and they help us to ask more information from people. Uh, remember that when we are using, for example, uh, let me show you with a better precision. So I need to use my spotlight, okay. When, when you, um, when you use where, we expect an answer about a place. When we use when, we are asking about a date. When we use why, we are asking about a reason. When you use what, we are asking about a thing or an, a maybe uh, the way to do something. When we use why, a reason, who, we are asking about a person. How much, we are asking about a quantity or amount. And how long, right? And how long is the duration of an event, okay? And whenever we have a WH question, we have um, to use it first or at the beginning of the question, and later we use the uh, verb be plus the subject, plus the going to, plus the complement, right? So a question with where, for example, where am I, where am I going to go this weekend? When are you going to arrive home? Why is she going to cancel the meeting? What is he going to buy in a store? Why are they going to change the place? Who are you going to play with, right? When uh, always we use who, normally we add with at the end, right? Yeah. How much is it? How much, excuse me, how much is it going to cost for the client? How long are we going to stay in France, okay? So those are questions using the, uh, the be going to, okay? So we use the WH, the verb be, the subject, going to plus the main verb plus the complement. In this case, the main verb is go, arrive, cancel, buy, change, play, cross, and stay. All of them are the main verbs of this sentence. Going to is just an auxiliary that help us to show the future intention of this sent of this question in this case. Okay, so let me advance. So how are we going to work with this? Uh, in this case, I'm going to use the gonna, right? Uh, because in this class, we are also learning how to shorten this, this going to, because in American in English, people normally say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do uh, this, mm -hmm. this and that. Okay. They, they don't say going to. It's only in very formal conversations that they use going to. But remember that this is an informal thing and whenever you write a formal email or a letter uh, or when you talk to your boss, you shouldn't say gonna, you should say going to. Okay? Okay. So I am not, if I'm talking about a negative, what I do is to add the particle not. I am not going to go, or I'm not gonna go, if you're talking with your friends, okay? You're not going to do, you're not gonna do. He, she is not going to see. He, she is not gonna see. You, we, they are not going to play. You, we and they are not gonna play, okay? But, we are talking about to be going to, in this case, going to, but you can say gonna in, in, in informal environments, okay? So again, 
how is the, the structure for the questions? As I said before, if you have a WH word, you have to place the WH word at the beginning of the sentence, plus the verb B. Of course, the right uh, conjugation depending on the subject, right? For example, for the subject you, you use are. For the subject he, you use is. And then going to plus the main verb, okay? And then the complement if you have. For example, where are you going to eat? Or maybe you can say, where, where are you gonna eat? What is he going to do next year? Or what is he gonna do next year? Okay, mm -hmm. so now I would like that we can have a practice and uh, we are going to have a pair conversation asking this question. What are you gonna, I, I write gonna because I intentionally want that you use gonna instead of going to because this class is to talk about this reduction, okay? But remember that this is in the spoken English and uh, you, don't, you shouldn't write in formal communications gonna. So I'm going to send this to you and I expect that we can work uh, in pairs by asking and answering these questions. For example, what are you gonna do after class tonight, for example? Are you gonna do homework tonight? What are you gonna do in your next ho long holiday? A long holiday is like, for example, Christmas, um, Eastern, or August uh, vacation, uh, we, when there's more than one free day, okay? That, that's a long holiday. When are you gonna get your next, next haircut? What are you gonna eat tonight? How are you gonna get home after work, okay? So those are the questions that I would like that you can share and that you can practice speaking because remember that this space is for you to speak more than me. Okay, so let me create the breakout rooms and we are going to have three, okay? So please join. Whenever you receive the invitation, please join. Hello, Adrián, did you receive the invitation? Did you receive it? Can you hear us? Hola, hola, Adrián, ¿me puede escuchar? Hello. Hello, Luis. I mean, Adrián. I'm gonna. I gonna. I'm going. Uh, um, I gonna sleep. I gonna uh -huh. sleep. Sleep, eh, sleep es doble E, P, ¿verdad? Sleep. Okay. I'm going to sleep. Uh, I'm going to sleep. At... Yes, yeah, sí, estaría compañero. 11. Ok, number two. Homework tonight. Are you going to do homework tonight? 
Or the uh, gonna. The gonna. Mm -hmm. The gonna do. Or it's... Hello, hello, Lorena. Can you hear me? I think you're alone. I don't see your classmate. I don't know why. Yes, hi, Nis. I was I'm alone in this. I know. I was trying to, to, to communicate with him in the main room, but it seemed that he's having some um, problems with the audio. So if you would like, I can move you to another group so you don't uh, be alone here, okay? Would it's like? okay. Don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. I, I feel so sorry, but I, I think he's having some problems by joining. You can ask me if you want. Okay. Okay. We will do it together. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Okay. What are you going to do after class, Lorena? Um, I'm going to make the breakfast and lunch for tomorrow. Okay. Excellent. Oh, uh, gonna. Uh, gonna. Just I'm gonna. Intentionally. I have to because, use. Them. Okay. Okay, now you ask me. Okay. Mm, no, I'm not. I'm gonna do, I, I'm gonna go to bed. Right after I'm class. gonna go to bed early. Okay, excellent. Okay, what are you gonna do in your next holiday, long holiday? Um, I'm gonna take a long vacation in the beach hey, nice love it excellent <laughs> and where are you gonna get your next haircut um, <laughs> I'm gonna get it maybe next next year okay I think you're you're trying that this this can grow okay <laughs> you look so nice okay what are you gonna eat tonight um, I already ate. I already ate. I already ate. Okay. How are you going to get home after work? Um, but I ate um, toast, tortilla, mm -hmm. and some requesón. Mm, excellent. I'm on a diet, so yeah. my, my, my dinner is not so good <laughs> it's very healthy no it's really good it's very very healthy it's nice it's delicious also and how are you gonna get home after work um, um, can you... number six the last one number six okay uh, sorry my internet is unstable and i have some trouble to hear you sometimes you 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 are fr freezer. Yes, I know. Um, Don't worry. Okay. Um, after work, mm -hmm. I'm gonna take some coffee with a friend. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, my dear Lorena. I have to leave you because That's there is a group that is calling. So you tell me. Okay. Tell me, what are you gonna do after class? Okay, I have a lot of things to do with my children to see homework for tomorrow. Not homework, but everything is ready, right? Really? Because they are in online classes, so I need to have everything ready for tomorrow. <laughs> I'm oh. working from home, and I'm coming back uh, to work next October, so I'm in all my preparation to go back. <laughs> it's really hard to us as a mom. We have a lot of activities in the day. Yes, I right? know. Okay. My dear, um, somebody is asking my help in another group, so I just will move and I'll call you back in a minute, okay? Excellent. All right. Okay. Hello, Gustavo. I was uh, around to see if Hi, people share, was working. Tell me question two, please. Yes, yes. Please, okay. Okay. Uh, help me question two. Uh, are you going to do homework tonight? Uh, well... ¿Cómo sería la respuesta? Eh, la corta sería no, I not. No, Pero I'm la not, larga. No, I'm not gonna do homework tonight. I'm go, for example, I'm going to go bed early. Ah, excellent. Uh -huh. Ajá. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Or uh, I'm repeat, tired. Repeat, please, teacher. Uh, no, I'm not gonna do homework tonight. Do, do, I don't wanna do. No, I no. Work no. Gonna. 
I'm not, uh -huh. I'm not gonna do homework tonight. I'm not gonna do homework to tonight. Word. Yes. Word yes, I'm gonna uh -huh. I'm gonna go to bed early. For example. Okay. Next question, teacher. Uh, where are you gonna do next long holiday? I'm mm -hmm. going to I going to in Christmas celebration. Okay. For in Christmas celebration or for Christmas celebration? Okay. Thank you. Okay, you, you can describe, you can say, uh, for Christmas celebration, I'm going to have a family meeting or a family dinner, or I'm gonna go to the beach, or I'm gonna uh, be with my, okay. my family, uh, gonna, et cetera, okay? Yes? Eh, es correcto, es correcto, I'm gonna, I'm gonna in Christmas celebration. No, for, for Christmas celebrations, I'm going to do this and this and that, and all the things that you can imagine that you can do. For Christmas celebration. Yes, I'm going to mm -hmm. do, and you start saying what you're going to do. I'm going to do for Christmas celebration. Okay, okay. excellent. See you in a minute, okay? <coughs> okay. Okay. Hello, hello, how is it going here? Are you about to finish? <laughs> <laughs> I was around in the yes, office. we can finish. Talking a lot. Uh, you already finished? Yeah. Yes. Excellent. Okay, I'll call you in a minute. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, lady. Okay, hello, hello, welcome back. We're just going to wait a couple of seconds for people to come back and then we're going to start our practice. Okay. Okay. So, um, let me uh, ask uh, each, each team to ask at least, to answer, to ask and answer at least two questions, okay? So I would okay. like to start maybe with Elizabeth, Elizabeth and Aura. Would you like to start? Yes. yes. Okay. You decide who asks first and who answers, and then you do the vice versa. Okay. I, uh, what you are you, me. okay. What are you gonna do after class? I'm gonna do sleep in the after class. Okay. okay. You say I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna go. To I'm sleep. gonna go to sleep. Yes, or I'm gonna go to bed. Okay. Good. Excellent. Okay. Next question. I are you gonna do homework tonight? No, I'm gonna do my homework uh, tomorrow. Okay. Excellent. Now you ask her. What uh, Aura? Okay. What are you gonna do after class? After class, um, I gonna do a mm -hmm. uh, sleep too. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go to bed too. Go to bed. Go to bed. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Go to bed. Okay. Or I'm gonna sleep too. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Uh, do we have an extra question or no? Are you gonna do homework tonight? I gonna do my homework tonight. Yeah. Okay. okay. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, my dears. Okay. Thank let's you so see. Much. Um, maybe um, Carla, Carla, Veronica, and Pete. Okay. Uh, um. Con Adrián y Gustavo. Okay. You start asking, Carlita. Okay. Um, con number three. Uh, con number whatever you, uh, you okay. decide which question. You choose it. Okay. 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 Um, what are you going to do in your next long holiday? 
Gustavo. Yes, este, I gonna do is Christmas, eh, Christmas, excuse me, Christmas uh, celebration with family. Okay, I'm gonna celebrate with the family or with my family, okay? Thank you. Excellent, now you ask her. Ahora usted pregúntale a ella, Gustavo. Where are you gonna do after class? Okay, Carlita, what are you gonna do after I, class? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to sleep. Okay, you're gonna go to sleep. Oh, to sleep. Excellent, thank you. Adrián, can you hear us, Adrián? Hello. Adrian? Hello. Uh, would you like to ask a question to Gustavo or to Carlita? Um, to Carlita. Okay. What are you going to do after class? I'm going to no, gonna go to sleep too. Okay. Now you ask Adrian. Okay. Are you going to do homework tonight? No, I'm not uh, going to do work tonight. No, I'm not going to do work tonight. No, I'm not going to work tonight. Okay, or do homework tonight. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Okay, Lorena, my dear friend, what are you going to do uh, in your next long holiday? Tell us, please. Um, I'm going to take a long vacation in the beach. Okay, excellent. And when are you gonna get your next haircut? We cannot hear you. You you put you put mute your mic. Maybe I'm gonna get it next. Now, can you hear me? Yes, yes, much better. Could you repeat your answer, please? Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna get my next haircut maybe next year. Okay, you're taking care of your hair. That's great. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Lorena. Uh, let's see who else is missing. Mm, I think that no, maybe uh, Aura. Aura already did. Aura already participated. Yes, right with Elizabeth. Yes, I think all of us participated. Okay, uh, let me continue because of the time. Thank you very much for, for sharing, very much for sharing all you have to do uh, or, you, or, or, or all you're gonna do uh, in a short time for today because in this uh, class we study the holidays, special holidays, in this case in El Salvador. For example, we have New Year's Day. Let me show you with my spotlight here. Okay, excellent. Uh, we have the New Year's Day, yeah, which is in uh, January the 1st. Uh, in this case, it was 2020, but in this case, it's going to be 2021. Um, remember that, that the New Year's Eve celebration is on December the, the 31st, normally, but the New Year's Day is on January the 1st, okay? Uh, January the 16th is the um, peace agreement um, sign celebration. Uh, March 11, the Women's Day. Okay. April the 9th, uh, I don't know what's this because we don't recognize the date, this date, but um, let's continue. Uh, for April, we have the Easter, right? The Easter celebration that for us is like a whole week. For May the 1st, we have uh, the Labor Day. For May the 7th, we have the Soldier's Day. For May the 10th, we have the Mother's Day celebration. On June the 17th, we have the Father's Day. On June the 22nd, we have the Teacher's Day. On August the 6th, we have our um, a World Savior celebration, right? By September the 15th, we celebrate the Independence Day. In November the 2nd, All Souls Day. In December the 25th, we will have the Christmas Day celebration, okay? 
So those are the holidays, the more important holidays in El Salvador. So now let's talk about another uh, celebration. I know that this year this already happened and maybe in a different way like in other years because of the pandemic, but let's imagine how, do, how we would like to celebrate next Mother's Day. So I would like that you can share, for example, when are you gonna celebrate Mother's Day? Uh, who are you gonna celebrate with? What are you gonna cook or eat for uh, the Mother's Day celebration, right? And where are you gonna celebrate? Why do you plan to celebrate in this way? So I would like that you can share with us in a couple of minutes we have in order to finish this class. So let me send you this image. And if you want to take a picture, you can do it right now. Okay, so let me share. And let's go back to practice our speaking in the breakout rooms. Okay. Okay. So let me just do some changes in the groups because we need to move. Okay, that it is. Lorenita, I'm moving you to breakout room number two, okay? Celebrate it. Uh, I'm gonna celebrate it. My celebrate it on, on, my, on May 10th. On May 10th. Okay, thank you. Where are you gonna celebrate with? Who are you? Where are you gonna celebrate with? Con quienes celebrarás? I am going to celebrate going, uh, my family. I am I'm going gonna to celebrate my mom and, and family. With my mom and um, family. Uh, my mom, my M O M, verdad? And family. It's Gustavo. Yeah. It's M O M, verdad? My mom. Yes. And family. Yes, mom. mom. My mom. Teacher and family, my mom and family. If you can Teacher. shorten the words, okay. Teacher. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Me pueden escuchar? Uh, uh, yes, yes. I have a question. Yes. Is I uh, the answer the first mm -hmm. question? I am gonna celebrate it. I'm gonna celebrate. Celebrate. Uh, where, only celebrate. Oh. Celebrate. 
puedo decidir, pero en realidad ya estamos hablando de voy a celebrar en infinitivo. I'm going to celebrate with my mom and the rest of the family. Como es, como es fecha sería on my on May 10th. On, on May the 10th, I'm going to celebrate with my mom and the rest of the family. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay. Excellent. Likes it Chinese food. So uh, we're going to celebrate in a Chinese restaurant. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. That's the reason why our plan to celebrate this um, holiday gonna be in this way. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, excellent. Uh, are you um, ready? Did you participate uh, the three? If you want, I can ask you and um, maybe Elizabeth or, 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 or Aura can answer your plan. Lorena, you can ask me, please. Um, when are you? Hola. Hello, hello, welcome back. Who was the practice? ¿Cómo estuvo la práctica? I hope you had the chance to plan your next Mother's Day, okay? For you or for your mom, okay? So, uh, who would like to share? We would like to start with the teams. So, maybe Aura's team. Are you ready? Okay. Please, go ahead. With um, Adrián or Carla? Hello? Okay. You, you say, okay. who are you going to ask? You, you say, uh, for whom is the question you're going to ask? Yeah, uh, uh, Adrián o a uh, Carla. Okay. Eh, oh. You decide. Usted decide a quién le pregunta. Vamos a hacer un trío. Quien responde, luego pregunta, ¿ok? Okay, okay. 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 When, uh, Adrián, when are you going to celebrate Mother's Day? I am, I am going to celebrate on May the 10th. Okay. Next okay. Yes, yes. Now, I want to continue asking. Continue asking uh, okay. to Adrián. Uh, who, who are you going to celebrate with? Uh, for me, the yes. question is for me. Yes, it's for you. Uh, you, yeah. you finish the fa the four um, four questions. Yes. I am yes. I am gonna celebrate with my mom and family. Okay. What are you gonna cook or eat? I am gonna eat pizza. Okay. Where where are you gonna celebrate? I am gonna celebrate in home. Okay. Uh, why do you plan to celebrate in this way? 
<laughs> Sorry, no finish. Okay, you can say because of the pandemic, because of safety measures, teacher, because teacher. We, we like that. Uh -huh. Teacher, no entiendo la pregunta. Okay, es don't que... worry, I will explain. ¿Por qué planea celebrar de esa manera? Oh. And since you said at home, you can say uh, to be safe, to avoid the virus, because of the pandemic, or because we like that way, okay? All of them are valid. Yeah? Excellent, thank you. Now you, now, Luis, now you ask Carla. Ahora usted pregúntale a Carla. Yo, siempre, eh, siempre no, le preguntaría no, a Carla. Lu, Luis, Luis, in order to give him the chance okay. to ask, okay? Thank you, Aura. Okay. Luis, could you please okay. ask Carla? Can you listen to us? ¿Nos puede escuchar? Sí, perdimos a Luis. A Gustavo, perdón. O era, era Luis o era Gustavo, me perdí. Ah, ok, Gustavo, adelante. Hola, hola. Ahí está, ahí está, era Adrián. Hola, hola. No, era Adrián. Okay. Eh, ok, you can ask to Carla, please. Ok, Carla, eh, when are you going to celebrate Mother's Day? I'm going to celebrate um, my 10th. On, on May, on May the 10th. On May, perdón, on May 10th. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> on May 10th. Who are you going to celebrate with? I'm gonna I'm gonna celebrate my mom and Red's family. And the rest of the family. And the rest of the family. Okay. What are you gonna eat? I'm gonna eat pizza. Okay. What, what are you gonna celebrate? I'm gonna um in celebrate um, home. Okay, celebrate at home. Celebrate at home. At home. Yes. 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 In casa. Okay. In casa. At home. Okay. At home. And the uh, last question. Why do you plan to celebrate in this way? I'm gonna use pandemia. For the pandemic, because of the pandemic. Because of the pandemic. Of the pandemic. Because. Pandemic. Sí, por la pandemia, verdad. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for participating. Okay, now is Elizabeth Garcia's team. Would you like to start, my dear, please? Okay. okay. Mike is yours. I am. I am asked. Uh, you can ask to the, the other members of your team. Okay, you can start. Oh, Lorena. Okay. Lorena is my turn. Uh, Lorena, where are you going to celebrate Mother's Day? I'm gonna celebrate on May the tenth. Who are you gonna celebrate with? Um, I'm gonna celebrate with my mother and my mother-in-law. Oh, wow. <laughs> Excellent. What are you gonna cook or eat? I'm gonna eat Chinese food. What are you gonna celebrate? Number three, Lorena, where are you going to celebrate? Where are you going to celebrate? Oh, okay. I'm going to celebrate in a Chinese restaurant. Okay. I'm going to celebrate in a Chinese restaurant. Okay. Why do you plan and, to celebrate in this way? The last one, I'm going to celebrate in the, I'm going to celebrate in this way because my mother loved Chinese food. 
Ok, excelente. Thank you. Ok, Thank you. There, uh, there was someone else in your team. ¿Había alguien más en su, en su equipo? Ahora. Ok, now. Ahora. Uh, could you please, uh, Lorena, could you please ask Aura? Because Aura started asking. Ask to Aura. Okay, Aura, when are you going to celebrate Mother's Day? Hi, wait. I'm going, I'm going to celebrate uh, May 10th. Okay. Who are you gonna celebrate with? I gonna celebrate with my mother. And Family. what are you gonna cook or eat? I gonna I gonna go to eat. With my mother and family. And, uh -huh, and family. Okay. You're going to go out to eat with your mom and family. Excellent. Okay. Do you have more questions? Number three, where are mm -hmm. you going to celebrate? Where are um, I, I going to, I going to I celebrate? Going. I'm gonna go I'm. to celebrate. Mm -hmm. I'm. Oh, me? I'm? Yes, I'm gonna celebrate. I go to restaurant. Okay, you're gonna go to celebrate to a restaurant. And the last one. Okay. Why do you plan to celebrate in this way? Um. I because I gonna to celebrate because my mother prefers um prefer go to the go to the um, go to the restaurant. Okay, excellent. Okay, you're gonna um, celebrate in this way because your mom prefers to go out uh, to the restaurant, right? Go, excellent. Okay, okay, go out. Thank Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much, teams. I think that nobody's missing. I apologize if, if someone else is missing, but I think no. Okay, so uh, I thank you because um, you participated and we were able to talk about the reduction of going to uh, by saying gonna, right? So, um, okay, don't worry, don't worry, Lorena. Okay. Um, uh, so we today we practice the short way to say going to saying gonna but remember that gonna is only in the spoken language in the spoken English but when you write you always write going to okay but because that's the formal way of this um, auxiliary verb in order to do the uh, future tense okay uh, for tomorrow we are going to continue because today time is not enough uh, today we are going to continue practicing about uh, what you're going to do or not going to do because right now we are, we are working, we are talking about the uh, affirmatives, saying what we're going to do, but we need to practice also what we won't do, okay, or, uh, or not going to do. And that's, uh, we'll, that this will happen tomorrow. And tomorrow we are going to start with the section number two of the module. So thank you very much for coming today. I hope that you can be safe and uh, I hope to see you tomorrow here, okay? Thank you. Good, Good night, night teacher. Okay. Thank you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good Take night, care. everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night.